Is everyone hungry? Let's head to McDonald's. So this is the Lego restaurant that I have been working on for the last several months. And I must say that this is a really nice piece of work. So off to the left we have our McDonald's tower logo. And we have McDonald's on top of the roof. And I did incorporate lights to light up the sign on the top. I'll show you that in a bit. Now I know I went a little carried away with the landscape, <laughs> putting a lot of flowers. So you can already see that we have lights and stuff inside. You can see that this place is packed. Now I did not have enough flat tiles to do the parking lot, so I just left that off. Here we have the site entry. Another McDonald's logo right underneath the eaves. And there are lights under here. Here we have a couple of bike racks with one bike. Now I know that the stripes on the roof are not lined up. Should have planned this out better. This is my first attempt of making a Lego restaurant. Here we have a drive through We've got a couple of fender benders going on. Here we have a place to place the order and an arrow. This was fun to put together. Can't wait to show you guys the close-ups of this. Here is the continuation of the drive through with another site entry. Very nice indeed. McDonald's. So I did use some of the transparent one by one cheese slopes to have the light go through. Looks pretty packed inside. Here's a look at the tower. I do see some sig figs in there. Trying to keep this camera as steady as possible for your enjoyment. Here's a close-up of that arrow. Now the vehicles I did grab from my nephew's Lego collection. So here is the menu board. I tried doing the best I can. I took all those pictures and actually stuck them inside. I wanted to do my own type of menu. Here we have a power meter and a water hookup. I put the safety pose there because we don't want an accident. Here we have our industrial gas meter. We have the drive through. Looks like I see Jay handing out burgers to the patrons. So here we have the roof. Let's get past the arches. I don't want to knock those off. I've already done that. Got lots of roof vents and exhaust. This part does remove to reveal the battery boxes for the lights. I did a review and show and tell on those. Let's open this up and see what's inside. Now let's take a look at the inside of the McDonald's. First thing I'm going to do for safety reasons is I'm going to pull this off because I always knock that off for, <laughs> for some reason. Now picking this up is a bit of a pain is because this actually does fly open. There's no way to keep that latch down. So I want to show you 
the lights inside is well underneath the roof. So let's hope I can do this without making a mess. And I have a feeling that this is going to pop open. So let's just hope that I don't make a boo-boo. There's the lights inside. I think it's 60 LEDs that I put inside this roof. Well, we're not interested in the roof anymore. Let me set that down somewhere. Looks like we have a busy lunch hour. So here we have the dining area. Lots of minifigures. Here we have a cashier's area. We take the currency and exchange it for food. The kitchen. Walk-in refrigerator. Walk-in freezer. Utility closet. And the men and women's restroom. So this is a complete full build. The only two rooms I did not include was a manager's office and a break room. I wanted to keep this as small as possible. So I think we're ready for another close-up because I do see some sig figs inside there. Here we have a close-up of the cashier's counter. Here's the menu board above. I did print the graphics and slip them behind some windows. Here we have the fountain drinks dispenser. We have a few figures. You all recognize him. That's Jaden McBrick. He's been missing in action for quite some time. Here we have a couple of mini figures. Looks like I see Texas 132, Big Stash, Josh Bricks, and My Random Mind. Chowing down. Here we have Link and Mike. On this table we have a bunch of other random figures. Here we have a spot with a tray return and the trash cans. Now I originally was going to put a picture right here. But instead I wanted to put the arches as well. It looks a little better. Here we have a couple of gumball machines in the entry. And I just knocked down the pole for the logo that goes outside. See, that always falls apart. So, here we have White Cat's Vlogs. She doesn't like hamburgers, so I gave her a shake and some fries. And we have Pig Gamer 145. On this table we have a couple more random figures. One of the figures I couldn't get the parts for was Angry Dragon 114. So let's just say he's out catching Pokemon. Here's a close up of the bathrooms. Have a gentleman washing his hands. Typical bathroom that I usually make in all my mocks. Utility closet. Here we have the front line. It's like someone's a bit angry there and got raw meat. <laughs> I guess he doesn't like his raw beef. Here we have the fountain drinks in the back, as well as a cash register. I did decide to use Jay the Surfer for all the employees. thought that would be a really cool idea. So here we have the cold side, or the dish area where we wash all the dishes. Got a cardboard box on top, maybe full of supplies. Here we have the kitchen area. I 
with the fryer and the hot side. So here we have Jay flipping burgers. Here we have a bin full of condiments like pickles, lettuce, ketchup, mustard, and even some slices of cheese. Here we have the deep fryer as well. I put a lot of time into this. So here we have the walk-in refrigerator. It's all stocked up, ready to go with buns and cheese. And there's a door that leads you from there into the walk-in freezer with frozen meat. I did put a pass-through in here so we can push the meat through so we don't have to go in. Of course the hallway that takes you everywhere. <laughs> Honestly, the interior is a bit of an overkill what I did, but I always wanted to build one of these when I was a kid growing up in the 80s of course a lot of these parts weren't available when I was a kid and I didn't even have as many parts as I do now as an adult so I couldn't build this now better late than never everything looks like it's frozen in time also this is a First, or no, a second attempt that I've been adding sig figs into my builds. I've been getting a lot of requests for that, so I've decided to keep that. Maybe use that as a tradition. Honestly, this turned out really nice. I'm very happy. Here's everything lit up at night. I wish the lighting for the sign was a bit better. I was running out of lights, so I couldn't illuminate the whole sign. And the tower that's on the top left is not illuminated. As you can see, I have lights under all the eaves. So it is a really well-lit restaurant. Well, this concludes the tour of the Lego McDonald's restaurant. I hope everyone enjoyed the walkthrough. Let me know in the comments what you think or anything else I needed to improve on the project. Overall, I love this build. First attempt at not only making a restaurant, but a franchise restaurant. And I'm really happy with the results. I'm very satisfied. I love building with Lego. You never know what the outcome is going to be, especially with this jiggly tower about to fall down. If you like this video, be sure to comment your thoughts and click that like button. To show your appreciation, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell to get notified of my latest Lego video content. Check out my other Lego related videos and visit my social media. Thank you for watching.